Maybe that's not fair. Just wait. You know what? I changed my mind. Welcome back, Hamstars. Today, we're going to be reacting to A Saira by Gojira. I know Gojira a little bit. I've listened to at least a full album a couple of times. I tend to find them a little more on the calm side uh, than what I normally listen to. But I found them really good, quite technical, quite advanced. Liam, you have never heard the, uh, Gojira before at all? No. I don't know if this is a song that I have heard before. And just so everyone knows, we're listening to this song because it is being used in the Olympics. Is that correct? Correct. This is the only part of the Olympics that I'm likely to watch. Gojira is a band from France. I don't know if the expression Saira means something different in France, but in Quebec, it just means like, it'll all be okay. The literal translation is, it will go. This is a metal band? <laughs> yes, it's a oh. very metal band, yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. Like, when you said Olympics, I was expecting, you know, something, I don't know, a little bit more, like, family-oriented. At the beginning, the, that headless thing, from the style, I'm going to guess that Asaira must be a French play or opera or something. They're talking about aristocrats and what appears to be an, a, a headless aristocrat. So I'm going to assume that this is maybe a play or opera from the French Revolution or that is talking about the French Revolution. My <laughs> So it's neat that they're doing this live. Again, I was just thinking this is be like a music video type thing that they play to promote the Olympics. But no, they're actually there live. They got a lot of fire. I like fire. <laughs> fire. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's good no, stuff. Okay. Pyrotechnics. Yeah, pyrotechnics. There you go. I had seen a few pictures of it, but it didn't totally get across that they are like hanging out of the, the windows of a, a castle turret with pyrotechnics around it. I hope it didn't singe the hundreds of year old stone. Now we have the chorus of the yeah. choir. Is is that normal for this band? They usually have a choir or? No, no. Oh, okay. So I'm assuming it might be from a play that they might be referencing. Maybe this is a song that they play sometimes, but in normal cases, it's just like a button they press. Maybe right now they have an actual opera. I don't know. This song no. reminds me of what would play right before like some sort of monster truck extravaganza. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I could totally see that happening. Right. Gojira is generally considered one of the more technical bands. So uh, I think there might be some people who feel that uh, Gojira is too good for monster trucks, but I like monster trucks. <laughs> Okay, now we get a straight up opera singer. Yes, and now I'm starting to recognize the tune. Do you know this song? It's sounding super familiar, so um, I'm going to say that I probably heard it somewhere. Mm -hmm. But they don't usually have a female singer. Uh, no, the band does not have a female singer, no. So it, this is some kind of fusion.
So that part was interesting because it reminded me of like a Broadway play almost. Um, and then right as I was thinking that it like got really <laughs> hard. So I think it's going to make a transition here. Um, but just for that slight moment, that's what it felt like. The opera piece, now that I heard more of it, yes, I have definitely heard it. And I'm almost 100% certain that she actually did something with her voice that goes in, a, in the opposite direction of what it's normally what it normally does it was cut it didn't do the whole piece that i would expect um and then the male singers the the actual band came in uh and that's classic gojira that's what they sound like Yeah, no, I thought that was great. What do I rate this? Okay, so I love the choir. I love the, the intensity of the guitars. Um, and I love that one part that sounded like Broadway. I think to me, it doesn't fully feel like a fully fleshed out song. It would be such a great like intro to something though. Maybe that's not fair, just wait. I don't think that's fair because I'm gonna show you stuff that's like not fully fleshed out. You know what? I changed my mind. <laughs> you know what? I'll give this a five out of five. This deserves a five wow. out of five. I thought that the incorporation of both the metal guitars and the opera elements, and then plus the Broadway elements, which I said, like, I thought that it all came together. Um, it didn't have a chorus verse structure, and I almost held that against it, and I realized, what am I doing? Like, I would never hold, hold that against it in my own music, so why am I doing it here? Um, so, yeah, I really like it. It kept me guessing. It kept me wondering what was coming next. And yeah, this is like, this would be a great opening to like a uh, record or album um, to sort of get you ready for what's coming next. And I don't think that, and so I, I was almost going to say it sounds incomplete, but I think that's okay. I think intro songs and like this is an intro to the Olympics, like are sort of meant to be that way where it's like, mm -hmm. this is just setting the tone for the rest of the album, or in this case, the rest of the event. You actually don't want it to be conclusive. It's just it's just setting, setting the table. So I think it does that really well. If it were just the audio, I would give it a four out of five just because I think that Gojira has songs that I like to listen to more than I would want to listen to that. Mm -hmm. Even though I do like opera on its own and I do like opera mixed with metal. In this case, even though I thought it sounded really good and really interesting, I think that there are other songs that mix metal and opera that I like more. But then you throw in the fact that they performed in a popular setting as the Olympics with pyrotechnics hanging out of a castle turret. And I just have to give it an extra star, uh, an extra ham star. I'm also going to give it a five. Yeah, I did find it funny to realize, oh, I actually definitely have heard this song. It was interesting for it to be paired with Gojira. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Of all bands, because I see them as such a technical band, I guess I can't be surprised because the technical bands that, you know, play uh, play metal today are almost all fans of classical. They are people like me who will climb onto their soapbox at every opportunity and remind people that metal is actually classical music. So, yeah, I think I think that was really interesting. And I think it's uh, an indication of how far metal has come that it would be paired with these symbols of the classical world, mm -hmm. uh, such as uh, opera and castles and the French Revolution. <laughs> so that's it for us, Hamstars. Spin your wheels down to that subscribe button. And give us a dastardly thumbs up.